All right, so here we are, two days later, and as you can see, um, it's uh, curing. It's already. quite firm it did shrink a little bit it would be good to put it over just another layer to smooth it out I'll probably do that with the uh, quick setting cement that way uh, we might be able to wait for it to set and then put it down to have a look actually you know what we might put it down right now to bail it out and we'll see if it's still leaking anywhere and then based on what we find we will do repairs like this will probably hold if we set it in the water it's definitely hard enough Okay. Oh hey, so it's miracle of miracles after just two days that major repair is now sealed so well that even though this boat is submerged it is uh, holding out the water. See I uh, didn't bring a sponge so I'm just using this blanket but basically dry in here. A dry boat on the water is a good sign of a good boat. Alright, and so uh, what do we have to do now? Well, uh, remember there were some leakages going on here and here. Probably because of this and uh, this over here and so we're going to fix these up on the outside and the inside um... what else is there? that's the highest priority for now I've scouted down the river to look for more uh, clues uh, for what's coming next if it'll be possible to remove this debris which is most possible oh, salmon um, oh, we got a fishing license, I can get that one now oh yeah is it waiting for me? what do you think? Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to try clearing that out, too, after doing the repairs on the sides. Okay. okay, well, to make this a little more fun, I've decided to make the aggregate in the boat. Oh, I made the aggregate, rather. Or I chose to use an aggregate. Uh, that is uh, the river sand. The sand from the riverbed is more coarse than the beach sand, which is more fine. Uh, and so here I have a mix of both. And this is going to be. See, you can tell the fine on top and the coarse on the bottom and uh, I'm going to mix it all together with some uh, cement so we need about 40% cement to what we see here and then we mix it all together
And uh, I read that having a aggregate, the most important thing with abrasion resistance and, and how well it deals with uh, scraping against the bottom is depends on the water to cement ratio. And so if it has a very high uh, water or a, a very low water to cement ratio, like a 45% water is the optimal amount. Uh, usually, usually in a normal mix you'd use like 50%, but 40% water is the best uh, in terms of how, how well the, the cement forms and uh, we're going to try to achieve that by using as, as little water as we can. Okay. So I'm gonna start mixing this up and then I'll get back to you. See over here, that looks like a fairly good ratio. Alright, about oh, 40%. And so now we're gonna use the mixing stick. Actually, you know what, in this little container, it's good for measuring, but it's much better to mix in the large bucket. It's much easier anyways, because there's more room. Dump out the little bit of water that was in there. Now I am putting in the ingredients. Hello. Um, okay. Let's have a look inside. starting to smell like cement. Cement has a smell. Kind of smells like uh, limestone or dishwashing baking soda. A little bit, but it has its own distinct kind of cement or concrete smell to it. Yep. So now I'm gonna add some water. Remember about half of as much cement as we were using. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this at a time. Because the wet the sand was already wet. Now it's really wet and we really don't want that because we want to have the highest strength that we can. And so we're going to add more cement because cement is fairly cheap. Oh. There, see, we have fairly good cement here now. Uh, and we can start applying it. Since it's sufficiently dry, it just it's like play-doh or putty. And then you just mold it onto whatever it is that you're doing.
<sighs> it's a bit enchanting. Or entrancing. Just, uh... Doing these repairs, it's become so habitual now. Oh. Well, all right. Well, we're gonna set it down. Hey, I just want to reassure everyone that fish are indeed slimy. See? This is a live one. Uh. Hello, little salmon. How are you? So. Yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't bring myself to uh, bash a head, rock over his head. Maybe another time. <sighs> oh, see, there's a bunch of them. They're going backwards. They can't really reproduce here. This is just the end of their life cycle. You just put it in my boat. I don't know, that would be cool, eh?